we'll see how how that carries over into the second weekend and throughout the rest of the season because you know typically opening day attendances are a lot higher when everyone's full of optimism uh, especially John Book fans who were very who've been very optimistic about opening days for a while now it's been 11 years straight without a loss on opening day it's also been a long time since they played away on opening day but that's what they did they went down to Ulsan as we mentioned earlier and uh, took on the champions. Yes, <laughs> Ulsan coming in like champions. They were fans all gathered outside. Uh, Paul, it was, it was, they were just all gone in early to get higher up and standing on the steps and looking down. And then they're all gathering around where the bus is coming in. And they had like um, a fan fanfare for the uh, the bus as it arrived and. Yeah, it, it came to a hero's welcome. It was uh, it was really something, I have to say, even though uh, I wasn't particularly supporting them. Uh, but yeah, so also coming in like champions, uh, they were welcomed onto the pitch like champions. As as we mentioned in the last podcast, John Book giving their first st- st- uh, guard of honour since 1999, uh, <laughs> having not played the champions on opening day since then. But I'd say... John Book started the better of these teams. I I think uh, they're not as bad um, as we thought. Oh, I don't think we ever thought they were going to be bad, but there were signs last season that uh, they, they, despite all the talent, they could become possession hungry without a purpose. Uh, they weren't here, though. Though They pressed Ulsan, went out of possession, and the speed at which they transitioned into attack, it was... It was something that they were sorely lacking for the most part last season. Uh, the inclusion of Lee Dong Jun and the speed he possesses clearly was a big influence on that right. But I genuinely like the interplay between him, uh, Jun Amano, who's uh, who got a, a lovely reception from the All Sun fans, uh, Song Min Kyu and Cho Hyu Sung. The four of them up front they had a really nice dynamic going, and uh, with that, it took just eleven minutes for the quartet to find a way through. Uh, there was uh, Lee Dong Jun and Jun Amano linking up to play through Song Min Kyu. Who, in space in the penalty box, just rifled home a shot into the uh, into the top of the net, and it was one nil really early on, and they just had further opportunities to double their lead. They really shell shocked Ulsan. Uh, Choki Sung, he had a he had a couple of opportunities that he squandered. He he definitely wasn't up to the the standard we had become used to seeing of him at the end of last season. Uh, perhaps not posing the same threat, um, but. Yeah, not killing that game off, it allowed Ulsan to come back into it. And they are champions for a reason. Uh, the warning signs should have been there. Uh, I think it was about the 42nd minute. Uh, young goalkeeper Kim Jong-un was forced into a fine save to deny Chu ming uh, Although, to be fair to Kim, he hadn't had much to do up until then. He hadn't looked bad either, especially as we thought it would be a John ming Ki that would have been the shoe-in to start. But no, it wasn't. Uh, two minutes later, though, John Book's defence did crumble. They were unable to clear the loose ball and on one sang, pounced to draw things level before half time. Things got slightly worse for John Book as Lee Dong Jung went down injured and then had to be replaced, which is worrying for their new signing, given how good he looked and also given his injury history. Uh, I've had a look at the news. I still haven't seen exactly what's happened reported at the time of recording this podcast. It, it was just one newspaper that just said it was a big injury. So, I hope it's not that bad, uh, but we'll see. I'm sure more will be coming out later in the week on his current status. Um, but yeah, also they grew in confidence in the second half and it was a lack of confidence for John Buck that led to the goal. It was Hong Jong-ho with a questionable back, but a questionable back pass, a little bit too high for his goalkeeper. And uh, well, Kim Jong-un didn't even cover himself in glory by chesting it down and effectively bouncing it into the path of uh, Ludwigson, who had come, who'd come on uh, to make his debut. And uh, yeah, he, he chipped it over the keeper and ran on to tap in. So yeah, 2-1 also. Yeah, John Book, they, they tried, but the ghosts of last season haunted them. They, they couldn't really create the chances they needed. And uh, yeah, all San, well, they, they look like they've exercised the demons over this John Book side. They, they were not at their best at the weekend. Uh, they were all right, but not at the best. And uh, they still had the confidence and they were unfazed by the threat that John put on. So, yeah, it was a, a champions-like performance. 